We've never been burned by the, the we, we've been burned only in the sense that we've made mistakes on judging the future economics of the business, which would have had nothing to do with due diligence. We regard, we regard what people normally refer to due diligence as, as really sort of boilerplate in most cases. It's a process that big companies go through and they feel they have to go through it and they're ignoring oftentimes in our view they're ignoring what really counts which is evaluating the people they're getting in with it and evaluating the economics of the business that's 99 percent of the deal you know you may run into an environmental liability problem you know one time in a in a hundred or you may you know you may find a bad lease i asked melvin about you know do you have any bad leases i mean that's the easiest way to do it and uh i can read them all and try and look for every clause or something but it isn't going to you know it that is not the problem We've made bad, lots of bad deals. We made a bad deal when we bought Hoshul Cone, for example, a department store operation back in 1966. But it had uh, fine people, uh, but we were wrong on the economics of the business. But the leases didn't make any difference, or you know, th that sort of thing just was not important. And I can't recall any time that that what other people refer to as due diligence would have avoided a bad deal for us. I can't either. No, that's 30 some years. And I, the, the key thing, you just don't want to do, I, I, I go into, I'm on various public company boards, I've been on 19 public company boards, and you know, their idea of the due diligence is to send the lawyers out and have a bunch of investment bankers come in and make presentations and all that, and I regard that as, as terribly diversionary because the board sits there, you know, entranced by all of that and everybody reporting how wonderful this thing is and how they've checked out patents and all that sort of thing. And nobody is focusing really on where the business is going to be in five or ten years. And, uh, you know, business judgment about economics and, and people to some extent, but the, the, the business economics, that is 99% of deal making. And uh, uh, the rest, uh, people may do it for their protection. I think too often they do it as a crutch just to go through with a deal that they want to go through with any, anyway. And of course, all the professionals know that. So believe me, they, they come back with the diligence whether they're due or not. And uh, uh, we, we, are, we are not big fans of that. Uh, uh, we have, I don't know how many deals we've made over the years, but I, I cannot think of anything that traditional due diligence has had a thing to do with. And, and No, we've had surprises in the, uh, on the favorable side a yeah, couple that, of times. That is true. That is true. The kind of people that we've generally dealt with have usually told us the bad things first and good things after we made the deal. But, uh, we made a deal with a fellow over in Rockford in 1969, Eugene Abeg, the Illinois National Bank and Trust Company. I made that deal in a couple of hours. And I mean, there just wasn't any way that Gene was going to be hiding anything bad. For the next 10 years, when I went over there, every time I go to lunch, he'd point out some building in town that we owned that wasn't on the books or some <laughs> foundation we had that had money in it that he hadn't told me about. And he even gave me some bills, one of which I carry in my pocket, that he had still sitting around with the, with the uh, that were issued by the bank, that were our own money, which he never told me about. He had, and we could cut them out like paper dolls. I mean, Gene was not a guy to show all his cards. On the, <laughs> and those are the kind of people we've generally dealt with. And I would certainly say that the... Uh, that Melvin and, and, and Shirley fit that description in spades. We're now at 3.30. It's been a lot of fun this weekend. I'm glad you came, and I hope to see you next year. Thank you.